Hi, I'm Alexandra. I'm Elisa. And we're two of the three resident redheads who write for the Numinous. And we want to share with you our favorite love rituals. For Valentine's Day. So the first one is a uh, love potion, uh, aka fancy water. It is super simple and really amazingly uplifting. So what I do is I find a jar that pleases me aesthetically, like this one. Mm -hmm. um, we put a rose quartz crystal in here, some flowers, we got white rose to make us feel like we're touching angels, and hibiscus to bring in some sensuality and passion and fun. And um, basically just put whatever you want in the water jar and uh, you connect. You ask your divine wisdom to send love, healing, sexiness, your sexual partner, whatever you want or need or just it's a blessing. It's a way to bless yourself and your life. Um, drink the water, take a moment to let it wash over your system and feel how nourishing and how simple uh, water can be. Water is our emotions, water is so amazing if you take some time to sit with it and let it nourish you. It's like way better than any drug um, that I've taken, but I don't know. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so one of my favorite love rituals or rituals in general is to make raw chocolate. Now it's actually a lot less complicated than you would think and here are some example raw chocolates that I made. So raw chocolate is basically three ingredients. Coconut oil, cacao, which you can use cacao nibs or raw cacao powder, which is any cacao powder. That's it, organic. And then you can take the third ingredient is the sweetener. So I like to use agave, but you could use something else or you could just go totally bitter with nothing. Uh, and you basically put all three ingredients in a pot on a stove and do a really low heat. And this is the part of the ritual where you like put your intentions in. This is what I'm feeling, this is what I want to give this person or myself, and that point I like lick the spoon, put it back in, lick mm. the spoon again, put it back mm. in, and it's just like I'm getting higher and higher, because your chocolate is an ancient medicine. Cacao, people, the Mayans used it for, for centuries, and it really connects to something really ancient and sacred, and also it releases dopamine in your brain. Mm. So basically, dopamine is like when you get a text from that person that you really like, you're like, <gasps> That's dopamine running it's through your body. Dopamine. It's dope. Yeah. Really dope. And so chocolate also connects to that same dopamine receptor in a really healthy way, and you don't need anyone to text you for it. Just you. So after you have stirred your intentions, your love, everything you want into that chocolate, you can just pour it into whatever little receptor. You can get these little paper cups, or you can just pour it into a big bowl and put it in the fridge for however long as you want. And then I pull it out, and I put all sorts of little toppings on top. So... You know, you can also, oh, this rose for love, the cayenne mm. is to bring spice into my life, whatever you want to put on top. And then eating the chocolate itself is the best part of the ritual, duh. Mm -hmm. um, so that part is like really connecting with your sensual side, breathing into it, just really. I would do that with water too. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, I just got some water on my mm. face. I just got dead. cinnamon on my face. Mm. Just mm. happy Valentine's Day. There's some magic for you. Mm.